everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to share with you how I have been using my Dyson Airwrap as a flat iron. Since I bought my Dyson, I have not had to use a flat iron, not even once, which is absolutely amazing. It's helped not only make my hair healthier, but it also has sped up um, the time that I need to do to do my hair. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I have curlier and wavier hair on the thicker side. So to be able to not have to use a flat iron, even to fix those stubborn little curlies, hairs that start curling throughout the day has been amazing and i can actually get my hair from wet to dry in about under 10 minutes which is um unbelievable <laughs> so the tool that i use to get my hair as flat as a flat iron is actually the flat headed brush and funny enough this tool is the uh the one attachment that i thought i'm probably never going to use this because I bought the Dyson Airwrap to work as the Airwrap and work as a, a hair curler and a blow dryer. But this is definitely my most used tool. I will even do this before I make my hair um, curlier just to help smooth it out and give it a shine. And one thing I have noticed about using the Dyson is for some reason over any other hair tool or blow dryer, this gives my hair a beautiful shiny finish that no other tool I have used has been able to do. So let's get started showing you guys how to recreate this look of easy flat iron hair without the flat iron. So to start, the only product I have in my hair is for True 6-in-1 Styler. I absolutely love this product and love this brand. As you can tell, this bottle has been used a lot. Um, not only does it help my hair not be as frizzy and poofy, but it also is a heat protectant and it adds shine. So when you start, I don't even bother sectioning my hair because I really want this to be fast and easy. And what I'm going to do is when I get near the root where those curls are already starting, instead of brushing down, I'm actually going to take my Dyson and lift it up and then turn it away. It's really easy, and I actually find that that helps create a little bit of volume at the root. So I'm going to also be using just the medium heat. Um, I use the high heat just at the end for a quick blast, but it actually gets really hot. Let's get started. So just make sure you're rotating up. Okay, so I just finished this side and as you can see, it made it really straight and not only did it make it straight, one of the biggest advantages that I find using the Dyson is it can just blow the air out and the heat out so fast that it adds this beautiful, silky, shiny look to your hair as well. An added bonus. So you can see even my tough curls underneath where it's really curly made it completely straight. It's the same effect I would get using my flat iron. And I just um, blast it with that hotter heat at the very end, just to kind of make it all set. So now onto the next side. So there you guys go. I'm all done using just that flat head attachment. One added thing I like to do is I like to go in with the round brush attachment and just kind of flick it out and um, add a little bit more volume at the roots. The only other thing that I like to add in my hair after is some Giso. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I absolutely love their hair oil. I find it's been the most amazing oil that I've tried. It helps nourish my hair. It cuts down on the frizziness, but it also doesn't give it that greasy look that a lot of other oils have tried. And they came out with their honey infused hair perfume. Um, I was... <laughs> Not totally into hair perfumes because the idea of it, it honestly sounds a little silly, but I use this not only in my hair, but as a normal perfume as well. So it kind of gives it an added bonus and it smells so amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. So that is it. That's how easy it is to use my Dyson as a flat iron. Not only does it speed it up, I can do it from wet to dry with just one tool, but it also doesn't put such extreme heat on my hair. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and follow my channel and follow me on Instagram at Amber Razook to stay up with the latest posts and fashion feeds.